goes. How do I do the zoom? What's your sign up, Bruce? In the front. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. Coming out. There we go. That a boy. Smile. You're on candid camera. City Hall. Here we are. Out in front. On the steps. In Willie's house. There's the street. There's the traffic. People going in. It's Willie Nissa's house. There it is. It's big. It's bad. Bruce, uh, our main man. What do you have to say, Bruce? Nothing. Nothing? Well, Good. Take the camera off to Bruce the is a real the trooper. Side. Good morning, Wheeling Son of Card for Senators, Supervisors. Oh, what a good man you are, sir. That's Ken Jacobs, co director of the Living Wage Coalition. So he's just having fun with us. How you doing this morning, Ken? back out here. So like we're too close. This is Ken Jacobs and Carl Kramer, co-directors of the Living Wage. Why isn't my Zoom thing working? That's Ken Jacobs there. Focus now. And that's Carl Kramer. We're here at City Hall, back up, doing our picket, in the house, Billy's house, trying to get some support. The two co-directors of Living Wage, yes! He's talking and he doesn't have a cell phone. That's right. It's time for Living Wage. Thank you. All right, shall we sing the song? Let's go. We are the living wage. <laughs> hey, mind your own business. That's uh, Robert uh, Maloney there on the right with the sign in his hand. It's going to be run. Get some uh, Air Force uh, stealth fighters from New Mexico. Bomb this place if they don't pass living wage. Okay. What was that, Robert? Say it again. That's where all the stealth bombers and stealth fighters are in New Mexico. So we'll, we'll borrow a few of those. We'll just have them straight to City Hall until they give us a living wage. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Robert Maloney's going to be running in what district, Robert? Six? District six. Against Leslie Cat. District that the, 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 the candidate or the, the incumbent doesn't even live in yet. Mm. Yeah. They can't afford to live there yet because they're not a supervisor or what? She's, she's not yuppie enough for them. Not yuppie enough? Oh, no. Come on. Where'd Mark Ruber go? Where are you going, Mark? It's 300000 That's nothing, man. She has no time, you know. Unless she got stock options, then she's not a Oh yeah, she probably got about a hundred thousand or so of those, huh? Yeah. Hi, will you sign a card? Support your supervisor. I tell you, supervisor, support the living wage. Thank you. Here comes some suits. They're not gonna sign. Yuppies. Would you willing to sign a card? Send it to your supervisor. Say support the living wage. Thank you. Sign a card for us, send it to your supervisor. Thank you. Right. Comes another uh, cabbie. Oh, he's got a fare. Sign a card for us, send me your supervisor, say support a living wage. Uh, me and Thank American you. Support living wage here. All right, we got one. Un Americans and not support living wages. Robert Maloney is going to be running for District 6. We'll look somewhere else. 
Yes. He's been supporting living wage for how long now, Robert? Two years? Yeah, for three, and three years already. Three years already. It's a good man. Vote for him if you live in District 6. <laughs> I'm volunteering and I'm not sure I'm really excited about doing this, but... Yeah, but you're going to do a good job, Robert. Yeah. We're going to get you elected, buddy. Thank you. What's up with these uh, United Taxi Workers, huh? Time. Mark, show your sign. Mark Gruber from the United Taxi Association. What is it, UTA? What do you guys call yourselves? Show me the t-shirt. There it is. United Taxi Workers, yes! <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Oh, sign a card for us. Sign a card for us. Be an American. All right. This is a cell phone user. Too busy talking on his cell phone to stop for two seconds, huh, Robert? Two seconds would be too much to sign a card to help somebody that needs a living wage. Cell phones at City Hall should be arrested. Oh, yes, I like it. You going to put that on the ballot? How you doing, sir? All right, send a card for us. Okay, but that's all right. Dave, what's going on? <laughs> These are the UTA. UTA guys and, and girls, gals, helping us out, supporting the cause. We are the Living Wage. We got another one coming, Tom. Living Wage Coalition. Who's coming? Another? Say that again. Another UTW? Corporate welfare in the city's cost the city four. All right, another UTW. United Taxi Workers, the cool people. Coming out, showing their support. There they are, that's Big Bad Bruce from SEIU. Bruce, time for a living wage, right Bruce? Thank you. The men and women of UTW, yes. <laughs> and a future supervisor. And a future supervisor, yes. District 6. Robert Maloney, remember that name. Sign a card for us, send your supervisor. Support the living wage. Thank you. We're out here in the wind. Actually, this is this isn't really wind. It's it's the fans upstairs. That's good, Tom. That's enough. <laughs> All right, here we are, City Hall. The crew, the main men, the two co-directors, Carl Kramer and Ken Jacobs, and the animal from SEIU, SEIU, Bruce. City Hall. Willie, we're in the house again. Hello, can you hear us? Ready to go, Bruce? No. We're off and running. Hang on, buddy. Going too fast for me. Oh, the other door? Yeah. That, we can't get in that. Don't you have to push the thing? Get in this one? The metal is going to go off like, when the camera through, huh? Symphony going on. It's great. Huh? A wedding. So what was a wedding? Where are we going, Bruce? I'm trying to find the head that's down there. Oh, the head? The head is up in his office. No, he's not here today. It's Saturday. He doesn't work on Saturday. This is lovely. Here we are in the rotunda. Whoa. Oh, me, could I get it? Dope! <laughs> what, is this? what is this lovely? Oh, that's our city. Fog coming in. How appropriate. Oh, okay. 
What does it say? Above the city? Okay, let's go. I'm very uh, envious of your of your horns. Being the horny guy that I am, Bruce. I need some horns like that. Actually, probably a lot of women envision me that way. Huh? We are downstairs looking for a head. You know this place better than I. Bruce, there is a grand city in many forms. We're in Lily's house. Nice place. You did a nice job remodeling here. We're gonna go up in the rotunda in a minute. Oh, Bruce, they're taking off on us. It's on a mission. Gad. You ready? I don't think I should film. Where you live for one year? Yeah. Where's your house? See, uh, back here. Right over there? Yeah. You see your house? Yeah. The apartment I stayed How much did you have to pay there? Free. Free? Oh, Bruce. Alright. Are you sure there's one right over the head? Why? What is that there that I'm filming? What is this? This is uh, the Queen's house. The Queen's house? Fellow Bruce. Ooh, fireworks over the bridge. The Bay Bridge, of course. Not the Golden Gate. Who do we have here? Oh, full board? Where are we at here? Oh, Chambers. So we're going to have our talk with them Tuesday morning. The city's City Hall pictures. There goes the Brewster. On a mission. What a guy. I'll have to pause here while he takes a pause. All right. Bruce is back. He's going to get some more coffee. You got a buck? We could go down the street and get some good stuff since the cafeteria isn't open. Uh, I'll have an espresso here for a dollar. Uh-huh. I got a dollar somewhere here. I got a buck here. You need a buck? Here. Okay. Let me buy you a cup. Uh -huh. More than welcome, sir. Anybody that wears a Viking hat to City Hall is worthy of a cup of coffee. The machine's probably going to reject that dollar. Knows it's a living wage dollar. Will he fix the machine? A something. E. E. Uh. Three. You're all over this stuff, Bruce, I can tell. Work that machine, buddy. Hey, here's your change. Is it a quarter? Yeah. Good, I need it for the meter. Hey, not, espresso. Not, not today, tomorrow. <laughs> Either that or wash. Thank yeah. you, sir. Okay. Espresso out of the machine. <laughs> Open! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, do, 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 do. I almost did that the first time I used this. I took the, I told I was going to take the cup out, and all of a sudden, I said, what the heck's going on? Nothing came out. No, I... There you go. It's filling up now. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, it's putting the. Putting the what in? I don't know. I just wanted to Can you get a latte out of this thing? I don't drink lattes anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's a yuppie thing, lattes. All right, let's head upstairs. It's 90% full Uh huh. It's all uh, foam and uh, air, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're going to the hallway. Get you coming at me. I'll do a, I, don't walk as fast as me, I'm going to do a Kubrick move here, pan around, get you coming down the hallway toward me, there we go, there he is, the man, the Brewster, an animal, designated shit disturber from SEIU, whoop, when is it coming on TV, I almost fell, damn it, we're going to edit it and use it for the living wage, I'll keep all the original footage though. I don't know how much we're going to use either, Bruce, but... Oh, are we back to square one? Yeah. These are our nice new elevators. New stored, restored City Hall. 
You know this place. You run this place, Bruce. The other operatives don't, here don't seem to realize that. All right, here's one of our lovely elevators. Mm. Why do you need a now thing? Hey, should we start? How about if we put some living wage signs? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, 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 they wouldn't like that. Put the one on Lily for door. Don't. <laughs> That'll fix them. That'll fix them. Oh, Barbara's door. Oh, yeah. Let's go get Barbara and Tang and put one in their door. Huh? They deserve it. No, 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 no. Oh, please. No, what I'm doing. When you get out of the house. Take care. We're doing everything reverse today. Take it off when you get out of the house. There's a tax collector's office, a very popular place in this uh, fine institution where we go through the revolving. Oh, thanks, Tom. Here we go back out. Oops. Unlocking the doors. Dennis, I'm in you up there. Hi. How are you doing? All right, back on the street. There's the living waste people. Don't trip down the stairs, Tom. Jan and Carl holding down the fort. Ezra! Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? My partner, Ezra Malagueta, joining us. Like Hi, thank you. Huh? I don't have to be aiming like that. I don't, uh, the screen. I don't have to wait? Oh, I know. I, I just, this, but the light, the glare when you're outside. Get you and the Bruce. Bruce, come up and stand next to Ezra. I'll give you a shot of you. Everybody now. Okay, we are the Living Wage. Living Wage Coalition. Mighty, mighty coalition. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are. So we tell them. We are the Living Wage. Living Wage Coalition. Mighty, mighty coalition. All right, enough. What do we want? What do we want? When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Living Wage! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Living Wage! When do we want it? Now! All right, for three, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to go on pause here. You guys are having too much fun. Bruce can't stand the helmet anymore. Stand up right there! My wage workers under attack. What do we do? Stand Jump up and fight, fight back. My wage workers under attack. What do we do? Stand, Stand up and fight back. My wage workers under attack. What do we do? Stand up and fight back. My wage workers under attack. What do we do? Stand up and fight back. My wage workers under attack. What do we do? Stand up and fight back. Stand up, fight back! My sister buddy. Sam Rosa is coming in the screen for 439 Teamsters! Fight back! Alright, buddy Al! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! We're at City Hall in San Francisco. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the Brewster. Stand up, fight back! Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! 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 We're fired up, we're taking no more. We're fired up. We ain't 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 taking no more. We ain't taking no more. Living wage. 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 What's this about? Living wage. This is about a living wage. What's this about? The living wage. 
wage. What's this about? A living wage. This is about. A living wage. What's this about? A living wage. This is about. A living wage. What's this about? A living wage. This is about. A living wage. What's this about? A living wage. This is about. A living wage. What's this about? A living wage. This is about. A living wage. Just stop that. Stop with your bad self, at least. Try to get the fella. We are the living wage. Mighty, mighty coalition. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are. Who's the guy in the camera? Some big jerk. <laughs> That would be called with a K. Kramer, co-director of The Living Wage, and Jake, and I'm Elwood, and we're on a mission from God. Huh? There you go. Okay, I'm gonna use this thing this time. Let's go. We got our, we're on a mission. Yeah. God. Let's go. Deliver a few messages. Yeah. I can't break this in. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, you know, Jake, if you choose to accept this mission, the CIA and the FBI are going to deny all. Is that mine? Never heard, Never heard of him. Never heard of him. I don't know nothing about him. Sounds like a loser. Okay, let's go. Be safe out there. Thank you. Remember Hill Street Blues, right? <laughs> are we open? Can we get in? How long are we in the house? Oop, yeah. Oops. Here they come. Here they come. Beautiful day out there. Yes. Finally that wind, man, it was killing us. I'm getting I'm 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 gonna be peeling here. You guys gonna be standing out there doing the uh, the wind too? Yeah, uh, uh till Tuesday till the um Okay. No no I know. I, I know uh, Eddie Strick. I mean uh, Tommy Strick. One of your guys used to work out the airport with me. Talked to him yesterday. You guys have a good one. Oh. Uh, I want to take a quick shot of the rotunda. There's a... What's up, Brewster? That's Louie's grandfather. Am I getting you in this? There you are, yeah. Hang on, let me just take a quick look at the rotunda so I can show these folks what a beautiful place this is. This is the rotunda, it's all redone. These are the light courts. That's the South Lake Court. Whoa! Have a nice trip. See you next fall. And they redid this whole thing. There's the dome. It's beautiful. The steps. The other light court. North Lake Court. We meet over there before we go see the, the supervisors. Let's see, it's real nice. Nice place. Oh, Brewster's waiting. Or Jake. You're Jake on this mission. I'm Elwood. Elwood and Jake on a mission from Gad. Here to deliver some mail, a message to some of our supervisors. We did more of this yesterday. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Let's see okay. Go down here, huh? Kind of like one to paste on the door. That's the uh, supervisor's chambers in there. Yeah. 253, we're going to pack it. Tuesday for our action. These are the soup's offices. That being Sue Beerman, God bless her, what a wonderful lady. Unfortunately, she's turned out. God bless you, Sue. Leland D. Leland, we need a little help here, buddy. Okay? A little help. Barbara Kaufman, Barbara, I can't possibly put it into words. I'm feeling toward you. <laughs> Tom Amiano, God bless him. So Thomas of Amiano, what a man. Our next mayor, we hope. There he is. Hi, Tommy. Some lights on. Somebody's home. I don't think Tom's in there. Okay. Here's one of our letters that we're going to deal deliver. Here, Brewster. You hold this up. Oh, wait a minute. We have to show him the message. Your living wage button is upside down, buddy. That's right. No, 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 no. Don't correct it now. Give me a big smile. Now we're going to come in on this. So 
so you can see what it says. Can you read that? Hold it straight. There you go. It says, we know you're a kind, compassionate person. Please give this your heartfelt consideration. It's a, an appeal to Mark Leno, who's basically a good guy. But he needs a little, a little help. Put it in the mailbox. There it goes. Mark will get it tomorrow morning when he gets his mail. Now, who's, he, who, who's our other um, victim? I am um, Leno and... Oh, and Yi, right? We passed, did we pass Yi? No. Gavin Newsom. Gavin, we delivered one to him yesterday, but yeah. we don't have much hope for him. Poor soul. Lost soul. Sold this soul, right? Yeah. Phony Here's liberal. Me. That's Yaki. We got Yaki Here's yesterday, me. and he's and oh, uh, used to get a life. Mabel Tang, we got her yesterday. Mabel, get a life. Will you? Please. Amos Brown, we gave him one yesterday. Reverend Brown, please help us out. Show us you're a kind, compassionate person. At least the festival, we got her yesterday. We missed you. He's around the corner. All right, <clears throat> false alarm. What's the Bruce going away here? Fixing his hat. We are the living wage. Mighty, mighty coalition. Everywhere we go, who we are, so we tell them. We are the workers. Mighty, mighty workers. Underpaid workers. Need health insurance. Need a pay raise. Hi, Tommy. We're back. We missed the turn. The Brewster was supposed to be the na navigator here. Yeah, you, you, you inherited that from your mother. You told me that, that joke about your mother. Yeah. His father used to say to his mother when, when they come to a bridge uh, that said drawbridge, he would ask his mother for a pencil. Oh, there. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Fortunately, he kept his day job. Here's Lee Lin Yi. Lee Lin. All right, hold this on. I stand in front of his door with me. Here we go. Hold it up. Yeah. All right, good. There's the Brewster holding it up in front of Lee Lin Yi's office. Leland, we need to give you a break. Give us a break here. Okay, that's what it says. Okay, Brewster, go ahead. He's going to do by. This is a two-man job. He's doing by himself at my head. He's got to hold it. Good job, Bruce. Bruce, you're the man. You're the man. He'll get it Monday morning with this paper that he forgot. Thank you, Bruce. You're a good man. All right, mission completed. We know nothing. So the hallway down to Willie's office. We're not going to give him one. So you might get your piss off. No, oh, doesn't like Tommy. Bad blood. City Hall. Tommy doesn't get along with the landlord. No. Oh. All right. Should we take the elevator? Huh? We're going to one of our nice new elevators. This is a rotunda again. A beautiful place, huh? We're in the house. Okay. Let's go. Why are you going up, Bruce? Uh, yeah, come on. Take a ride. Down. Take a ride in the reading. All right. Bruce doubles as an elevator operator at times. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Seafarers Club. What's that all about? That's a merchant marine club. Oh. Uh, run by a church that sells beer. What kind? Budweiser. Uh, uh, King of beers is mine. But uh, the uh, Red Hook. Bruce, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, I go. I know you're just a part-time elevator operator, but we're gonna have to get on top of this stuff, buddy. Okay? Yeah. Remember when the old city operator they had the elevator? Yes, operator. in the old good old days. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we are back in. Oh, lunch is being served. Amazing. It's very nice of him to be this accommodating to us. Thank you. When yeah, when's lunch here? <laughs> you guys have a good one. All right, mission complete. Oh, all right. Jake, you're the man. You're the man. Hey. Oh, too bad. You think we might have get her upset? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, gee, did we hurt your feelings, Barbara? Well, they got the harshest ones. Wake up. This is a no-brainer. Uh, yeah. Lady signing cards here. 
Elise and Carl. Holding the fort down. Okay, here you go. Just let the fort take the lunch with us. Okay, all of us? Well, you mean all three of you? Oh, can you pack? Can you well, all no, I was offering. It's up to you. If all three of you want to come, we're going to go over to Max's. Oh, uh, no, I I've got to run to the to my home for a meeting. Down the street. Nice hat, huh? Um, this is Evelyn Nordstrom. This is Bob something or other. Hi. Hi, Ellen. I'm Tom Martin. Tom nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it's you, Bob. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. So, let's do the card. What's that? Let's do the exchange just so we can put it on there. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right. There's the card passing. Yep. Passing hands. Oh, uh, Many hands make light work. Uh, I'm take the lens cover off first. Huh? That'd be a good idea, Gary. There's a lot of, lot of uh, blank space there. One thing I forgot. It's pretty easy to use. It has the flip out screen. Here, I'll pause it. All right. All right. I got my zoom action going. Yeah, you got to see, you already know where the zoom is. Pretty, cool. <laughs> pretty easy to use. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I get my hat. Okay, got it. Okay, right, Gary, thanks for coming, man. Look at this guy. He's oh. Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> doing panty shots. Don't doing right. the kid in the shining coming down the hallway. <laughs> Ed and Jeff. Oop. All, right, Jeff. All right, you guys. Thanks for showing up. There was my main man, Carl with a K. Big Jeff LaRocca. And Edmund Iceman Bautista back there chilling. <laughs> Sign a card for us, help support with the low wage workers. The Brewster, Dave, Rob, hanging in. Alice shading herself. She doesn't want to get sunburned, and I don't blame her. All right. Easy? You ready to go have a sandwich? Yeah, let's go have a sandwich. All right. We'll put this on pause. Say goodnight to City Hall for the day. We'll be back tomorrow.
residents that live on that block to talk to people about uh, that their neighbor, supervisor so-and-so, has not committed to supporting uh, the proposed living wage law. Uh, what we'll have is um, a leaflet for people uh, to um, uh, hand the personal leaflet. This is the number of the supervisor that you can call them at Mr. the Grayson? office or email them to urge them to take a stand in supporting the proposed living wage law. Um, we also have uh, kind of instruction sheets and a, a sample wrap to use. We'll divide up into teams of two and three uh, to cover the different sections of the street. Once we stop, then we'll assign people to, to different sections. The, um, uh, each stop, we're going to be there for 20 minutes. So it's uh, important to uh, uh, that probably each team would be covering maybe two or three houses. And then uh, once you, you know, after 20 minutes, keep track of time, come back to the bus because we'll be heading to the next stop. Sir, uh,
<laughs> we make a stop. I always sing a song to the bus driver. All right, a song for the bus driver. School bus drivers, you are the best. That's Rob Joyce. This is Ken Jacobs, one of the co co directors of Living Wage.
works for the SEIU Local 250, who yeah. represent all the home health care workers, I just as home health care workers in the city. We are we are have members 6,500 workers and we are strong. Yeah. I tell you how strong we are. We all have strong bones and muscles because we take care of old and sick and senior and disabled. We have to lift them, carry them, and we have to down on our knees to wash and clean and for the, all the workers. And we are strong. We have a strong immune system because we can't get sick. If we get sick, who's going to take care of the senior and health and disabled? We can't even get compensated for sick day. And the most strongest of all, we have a strong will to live because San Francisco doesn't pay them enough to live. Oh, so as the airport workers and so is the fishermen wharf at the port workers and all the non-profit workers. And thanks for everybody to come in here. And first of all, let me, uh, we have a full event. We have a good event today. First of all, let me introduce Karen Shear from the Planning for Elders in Central City. She has a program for us which have a good demonstration and expressions. Thank you. today. This is the game that's going to show us who among us is going to be able to afford to live in San Francisco next year. Next month is sniffing around here for today. Are you going to try the Mission District where you're going to sell some lofts to some really rich folks so they'll be even closer to City Hall? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And now where is that yuppie Yuppie, she's not only a yuppie, she's also a boss. Why, she's she's made of money. She's she's only, she's only too happy to scoop up your apartment and raise the wages, increase the the CEO of Pizza Incorporated. So, you paid any taxes lately? Okay, now here's the most important part. You, we need you to play. Who's feeling lucky? Who thinks they're going to be here next year or next week? Who's going to play? We have these chairs up here. This is played just like musical chairs in children's games. So come on up. Maria, one. We need at least eight people to come on up now. Sorry. Richard, great. Nestor, come on. Seema, please. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Uh, how about Walter? Will you play our musical chairs game? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Here's some more. Yay! We, we need a few more people. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need two more people. Come on. Margie. Yay! Yay! Who else? I need another person. Come on. If, if you can be on and off really fast. <laughs> ah, thanks. Come on, come on. Come on. Jim. Okay, we're about ready to start this game, and now I'm going to hand it over to our narrator and his musical sidekick, and they're going to guide us through this treacherous game. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and let us set the stage. It's year 2000 in San Francisco, and this is a very rich city. At no time in history, with the exception of the gold rush, has more wealth flowed into the town. Yet, there is also no time in history when there has been a bigger gap between the rich and the poor. 
Housing costs are rising, and there's a less than 1% vacancy rate in this city. Rental prices are skyrocketing. People are flooding the city from all sides, most of them with income levels high enough to pay the pay crazy price it takes to live in the city by the bay. But do we have to worry? We're secure that they can continue to live in San Francisco, or are we? Let's take a closer look. Here's the situation. We have lots of people competing for seven chances to live in affordable housing with a living wage job. Let's see who'll be lucky today. It's living wage jeopardy. Play just like the game of musical chairs. We all remember, remember musical chairs, don't we? It's that wonderful children's game of chance and cunning. As you can see, there are more people than chairs. When the music starts, the contestants will circle around and around the chairs. When the music stops, those who are nearest to the available seats can remain to play another round. Those who are stuck without a seat are out of the game. Who will be the lucky ones to be able to stay in San Francisco in the face of ever-increasing threats from all sides? Will welfare reform keep you in the continued cycle of poverty? Will corporate welfare keep the rich rich and the poor poorer? Or will you lose your housing as new construction in your favorite neighborhood is expensive living there. workspace? Will your that box be lost to owner moving eviction? Will it be sold to developers in order to, in order to build business units? Will it be lost to natural disaster? The possibilities are endless. Here we have a sunny day. Never bought in the Excelsior. You can live in Richmond while making a living wage as a home care worker. You, in the mission, you will be able to reside in that beautiful one bedroom. And you will live here in this great... And around and around they go. Where they'll stop, nobody knows. You're out of luck today. Your job will never pay enough to keep you living in San Francisco. That welfare to work training program will never get you into a full-time living wage job. And soon, the safety net programs may be gone altogether. What then? No health insurance? No food program? Well, too bad for you. But at least all those training programs can still reap profits keeping you trained. Ha <laughs> ha! Look out! Here comes the yuppie business person to take you out of the game. She seems more than happy to keep you employed in a poverty wage game. And around and around they go. Where they'll sleep, nobody knows. You'll just have to take your chances elsewhere. You can thank the Ellis Act for your leaving without a home. This Ellis Act is a state act that lets landlords remove their entire building from the rental market, evicting all tenants to one fell swoop. Here we see just one, perhaps, of 30 people who used to live in the apartment building. Looks like you just lost your home of 20 years due to the Ellis Act. Too bad for you. But congratulations, though, to everybody else. You can remain in nobody knows. Oh, thanks for playing. Better luck next time. There is no living wage job for you because each million of public funds are siphoned off to big business. This corporate welfare needs much more public oversight. It includes sole source contracts, land giveaways, special city services, and tax breaks. But tough break for you. Here comes our corporate welfare king, COA of Pigs Incorporated, to take you out of the game. And around and around they go, where they'll sleep tonight, nobody knows.
sorry. You're really out of luck today. You're out on the street. You lost your beautiful one bedroom due to an owner move in eviction. That's what happens when a building owner decides that they or a relative will move into the unit they previously were renting out, thereby evicting the tenant. That's one less rental unit on the market and one more renter who is out of luck. Here comes the real estate developer, Miss Cold Heart Moneybags, to remove you from the game and replace you with her third cousin. And around and around they go, where the work nobody knows. What's the matter with you? Can't you find a way to take care of yourself and your family on minimum wage? I guess you're just lazy. Hey, don't you know the economy depends on cheap labor? What a plan. Get people off public assistance and into low wage jobs. The hourly wage for the average San Franciscan receiving CalWORKs benefits is $6.60 an hour. What, can't live on that? Watch out. Here comes the corporate welfare king and his pal, yuppie boss, to escort you off. And around and around they go where they'll sleep nobody knows. for affordable housing thwarted. There's construction happening all over this town, but they are building affordable house housing units? No. Drive through the mission, for example, and what do you see? New construction on all sides, but what kind of housing is it? That's right. The dreaded live-work units intended for rich yuppies and dot commerce are pricing low tenants out of the housing market for good and increasing property values, changing the face of our city. Yet again, we all know the story by now. It's become dreadfully familiar. You can't afford to live in San Francisco. We're fighting for a living, living wage, but even that's not really enough to live in San Francisco. How about a housing wage? Do you know you need to make at least $22.44 an hour to afford the typical two-bedroom apartment in this city? At minimum wage, you would have to work 156 hours a week to afford that apartment. Well, tough luck. You're all out of the game. But congratulations, you, the our lone contestant, you've beaten the odds in the heroin game of living Jeopardy. You get to remain in San Francisco safe and sound with a job that pays at least. Because they charged them both last night. Just when Tom finished his. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yes. Can you show her where the, uh, the soup's chambers are? Sure. Nestor Quay are, uh, Quails. Sure. Nestor Quails. Nice to meet you, Nestor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Ice man. <laughs> has ice running through his veins. Oh, where's that little lady? I'm sorry. If you just go... <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to refer to you that way. Want to take the elevator for her? Yeah. The... Marta. The, the, the chambers are straight ahead, right up those stairs, but there's an elevator right there. Just go up to the uh, second floor, and it's right there. See where that man's going straight ahead? That's it. Yeah. Right there. Okay. See where the man's going? Yeah. Okay. Just take the elevator right over there. We'll bump, okay, we'll into, go we'll bump into the Hotel Association. They're in here. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Gee, you think they like to see us? I think so. They gave me the You and your hat? Bruce? The, no, they gave me the most dirtiest look. Oh, no. Don't see look? Yeah, when I was uh, sorting the cards. Oh, Bruce. I'm surprised. Said, no way in hell we're going to get this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll be the judge of that. Okay, there's Ezra, Ferdy, and I'm sorry, what's your sir, name, sir? Steve. Steve, nice to meet you. I'm Tom Martin. Tom uh, Martin. 250, healthcare nice worker, right? Yes. All right, God bless you. Okay. You're doing a great job. Hi. Huh. Oh, it's okay. Down this way. This way, this is where the supervisor's houses are. This is where everybody's meeting? Yeah. That's where we're all meeting, but we're, gonna, we're on a mission here from Gad. Well, well, we can go back down. Yes. Do we want to say hello to Ms. Behrman? Hmm? Just to be friendly, Ms. Yeah. Behrman? Hi, Susie. Uh, that's the other word. Okay. We're on a mission. This one, Mr. Yee. Uh, Yee. We got cards for you. Who's got you? Who's got you? We got it here. Huh? Do you want to do it? Aye. Aye. I'll tape it. Go ahead. This one? No. Thank you very much. You have a nice day. Bye-bye. It's personalized. Okay, bye-bye, Dr. Yee. Uh, Barbara Kaufman, do we have? No, we don't have any. Here. We didn't bother. No, we did. She got a letter Bye, Barbara. Should we say hello to Tom? So, Thomas, so you're in there. Tom Omiano, our man. That's his office. All right, Mark Leno, we have some for him, right? Okay, Leno, right here. Mark Leno. This would be his address, 272. Good afternoon. Hi. 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 We're here to deliver some uh, cards to uh, Supervisor Leno. Okay. On behalf of Living Wage, these are cards from his voters in his district. Okay, great. Suggesting that they are fully in support of the legislation on the table. Soon, we hope. Thank you very much. You have a nice day. Okay, next we have Gavin Newsom, and we have some, right? Uh, Leslie Katz, let's do her. We have a lot of cards for Leslie in 273. Hi, how you doing? Thank you. We're here. We're here to deliver some cards to uh, Ms. Kat, uh, Supervisor Katz uh, from the Living Wage. Uh, those are voters in her district who are fully supporting the legislation that's currently on the table. I'm videotaping this action. Do you mind? Well, it's a lot. Okay. Well, it's just for our personal use. We just want to have some fun. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Please tell her to give her her heartfelt consideration. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Bruce, I love the look of people's faces when we all Oh, the Brewster. It's great. Got news on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Wrong one. Let's get the right cards for the right supervisor. Yes. We only have, it should be a real short stack. Real short one. Dang, best roll. Brown. 
We don't have any Newsoms. We had some. We have I, some. I have the, the one I have. The next one, the rest of them. Okay, we'll sort them out later. I don't know. Maybe somebody else will get his. <laughs> it should be a very. We only had like <laughs> maybe around. six. Yeah. Maybe on the end. Yeah. You found it? So there's one Delano in there. And yeah. it says brown. Yeah. So there must be some other things. Then the ones that are, are Newsom aren't scratched out. They're, they say Newsom. Bit of a technical uh, problem here. So we're, so we're, we're working on it. We scratched out that name. Okay, we have no cars to deliver, then we can't go see them. Yeah, keep looking through there. Um, who else? Those are all who? The mayor? Yeah, that's all. I saw Alino in here a moment ago. Who? Oh, we scratched them out. This is our toy. Who sorted this out? I did. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Did we get Yaki? See, here's an eight. Here, where's Yaki's here. office? Oh. We didn't do, do Yaki. No, it's yeah. right here. Let's do Yaki. Here. Go ahead, go in. Okay, go. Go. I got Yaki right here. Here's somebody wrote. Good afternoon. Hi. We're here on behalf of the Living Wage Coalition. Or do we? Okay. Here's that. Ah, I think. <laughs> Tang, did we get Tang? No. No. How many you got? Ooh. Hello. Hi, we're here uh, on behalf of the Living Wage Coalition. Delivering, uh, we want to deliver these cards to uh, Supervisor Tang on behalf of the Living Wage Coalition. These are uh, voters in our district who are fully supporting the uh, Living Wage uh, uh, legislation that's on the table right now. Okay. And uh, nice. we'd like to, to give her her heartfelt consideration. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. I'm sorry, do I sound like a salesman? It's good. I like that. <laughs> what great. is your name again now? Steve. Steve, Steve Allen. I'll never. Um, Steve Allen? Yeah. Ah, one of my heroes. Amos Brown, yeah. Brown, we have a lot. We have a lot. Let's go. Well, fair no, enough. No, that's one mayor. Mayor Brown. Yeah, they're this scratched the, out. This is the supervisor Brown. You saw one Leno in there? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Brown. Come on, we don't have time. Rock and roll. Scratched oh, out. See what this is, though? Yeah. This is Damus Brown. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We always have this confusion <laughs> because because of the two Browns, we have this confusion. Okay. Well, um, you'll see it. Anyway, would you please uh, tell Reverend, Reverend Brown that uh, we'd like to, him to give this his most heartfelt consideration? Okay. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. Oh, All right. Yeah. You got a letter. <laughs> we got letters. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Uh -huh. um, that's all. Yeah. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. This is a pretty good cross group of ethnicity. It is indeed. We have everyone, don't we? <laughs> the three white guys are a little questionable, but other than that. <laughs> Hello, is anybody home? This is uh, Lisa Bessel's. Uh, Hi, good afternoon. We're here on behalf of the Living Wage Coalition. We want to deliver some cards to Supervisor Besserell. Uh, those are all voters in her district that are fully supportive of the legislation that's on the table right now, and we'd like you to tell her that we'd like her to, to give it her most heartfelt consideration. Yes. We feel this is an <laughs> issue of fair fairness and dec decency to the workers and Mr. that work on city. She's definitely city. concerned about this issue. And she's is she? definitely in full support of the rights of workers in San Francisco. Well, Thanks. we'll be happy to hear from her expressing that to the other supervisors. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice Thanks. day. Uh, grab me a piece first, please. Yeah. Can, you, can you one for me? A mint? I need a mint. My breath, my breath needs a mint. All right, we got the mayor, and who else left? One for Leno? We'll just slip yeah. under the door. We already, we already went in there, right? Okay, here we go down to the mayor's office. The mayor. Every vote counts, right? I can drop that one off. Look at him. I'm, I'm, I'm two, two birds doing a trapping shot. Huh? The Bron Mayor Brown Trappers? Leno, yeah, we'll hit it on the way back. It's only one. I don't think we'll miss it. All right. You go, Steve. It's your job, Steve Allen. Oh, I'll do it. 
on behalf of your namesake. He was a good guy, yeah. I might add. Yeah. Hey, the two of them have been married for how long? Long time. Long time. Very good uh, role models. Tell me his office. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I'm going to hold this back like this like I'm not using it. Uh-oh, it's locked. Hello? He did. Oh, no. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. We're here on the uh, behalf of the Living Wage Coalition. Yes. We're here to delay or deliver cards to the mayor. These are all okay. signatures I'll of people. Okay, I'll send them in because he's out right now. Sure. Thank These you. are all people who are, are saying that they're fully in support of the living wage uh, legislation that's on the table. Uh -huh. And uh, we'd like to give him to give it his most heartfelt consideration sure. as far as his influence with the supervisor. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much. You have a nice afternoon. The same to you. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. No, no, just, yeah, just drop me off and say we lost one and here it is. Okay. It's right around the corner on the right-hand side, toward the end of that okay. hall. Thanks, Steve. We'll see you now. Okay. All right, here's the city hall, the rotunda. Yeah. Good job, fellas. Yeah. Mission completed. <laughs> I got to go, uh, oh. look oh, at that. Uh, huh? Who got a message? Got a message. You think they did, Booster? Yeah. All right. The hey, they did. We, we delivered those personally. All right, fellas, we gotta go because um, I gotta go and help Carl, but you're a good man. You did a good job. We were on a mission from GAD, and we did the right thing. <laughs> Me and uh, Jake and um, I'm Elwood. The Blues Brothers, we were having some fun, huh? Bruce, the Brewster. The security guy goes to him, what's with the horns? And I said, uh, he's a Viking fan. And I kind of looked at him funny, and I said, um, actually, uh, every day is Halloween for him. He <laughs> still looked at funny. So, well, he's a uh, slave to fashion. I don't know. I had to turn the camera off for that. Hey, we're not here to have a good time, sir. Hi, how are you doing? Here we go, down the steps. Brewster, we'll see you in there. Bruce, on his way in, give the supervisor hell. Brown, our letter that Brewster and I delivered, uh -huh. it's on the bulletin board inside the office. Which letter? The, the, on the living wage thing that I wrote the little thing on. Uh, Me and Bruce went up and delivered the letter. You want something to drink? So I wish I had some money to get something to eat. I'm hungry yeah. I think we got some. I wish wait, someone could help me out five bucks. I really need it. Five bucks? I'm Here's not a rich man. How about a few bucks? Okay. We can get something decent for a few bucks. Uh, gonna have to make that one, bud. Uh huh? Good, ain't All right, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Mission complete. Yeah, so did you hear that, Carl? The living wage sign. What? The living wage sign that Bruce and I delivered yeah. with the message on it. Yeah. It's on the bulletin board inside of Amos's office. Beautiful. You get a shot of it? That yes, we did. Positive thing I've seen so far. Yes, very positive. The lady said it's really supporting. You see that? And Bess Roll's secretary, yes, told us told us that she supports it. 
I said, well, he'd be happy to yeah, hear her express that to her fellow supervisors. So we may have it here, Carl. I said, Tom says it's a lot. Put the farm on the odds. Hey, bro. There's a beautiful banner that uh, Carlito made for me. Yes. The living wage banner. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Went to the chambers. What kind of judge here or something? He's a judge. I'm gonna marry you. Yeah. So who else is here for this thing? That's it. That's it, man. It's just the. Uh, There's supposed to be more people. No, well, we had hoped. We all, however, our action was very uh, effective. Oh, sure. Hi, Alice. How are you? Huh? I got you on video. <laughs> How's it going in there? Nothing happening? Time to wait, is what I'm saying? Well, what, yeah. 